Okay, well, uh, shout out to uh, Jim out there for inspiring me to uh, record this uh, quick lesson. He asked me via the uh, live chat if uh, if you could uh, animate in Photoshop with a timeline, and I said to him, I, I last I checked, there is no timeline, and then I checked, and there is actually a timeline. So go over here to your timeline. See, I don't use Photoshop that often, at least for animation, but uh, we're going to give it a shot. Uh, and again, bear with me, only my second time here. We're going to copy in some uh, cool artwork from... Um, uh, one of our uh, game artists, and uh, if you are a Cartoon Smart subscriber, obviously you get this uh, free game art as well uh, this month. I guess we should just go in order here with some of these frames. So let's grab uh, this little guy slinking along the ground, and we're going to copy it into this uh, other new document. There's nothing special about this, uh, but uh, we do need to set up um, uh, a couple things over here. So uh, this little pull down right here, uh, be sure that you have... Uh, let's see, where is it? I'll see. Now I lost it. All right. Oh, create create frame animation. There you go. All right. Well, that's step one. Uh, all right. Now here the tr the trick is is that uh, we're gonna start to put these on uh, layers. Each layer is gonna be a frame. All right. But here's the trick. Uh, create new layer for each frame. We we do want that. Uh, new layer is visible in all frames. We don't want that. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and. Uh, Paint, paste this in. All right, there's a, our cool little dude. Let's go ahead and put him kind of on the ground plane here. And uh, now we're going to go press over here again. Go to new frame. Okay, now this is the, the part that tripped me up a little bit. See how we can still see him over there? We want to make that invisible. And then what we can go do is pick on the next guy. All right, so we got him. And... Uh, paste them on into frame two. Let's go ahead and uh, bring them down over this way. And of course, if you want to see the previous frame, you can. You can uh, toggle that back on to get this uh, kind of lined up just perfectly, right? Okay, uh, that's off. And uh, even, no, okay. <laughs> I was about to say, even if that one's off, you can still see it. That's not true. Uh, go to uh, new frame again. So we've got uh, yet another frame. Uh, take the visibility off there. And we'll do this at least one more time, just enough so that we can start to play back something. Uh, go back over here to the uh, perfectly titled, untitled document. And then let's just make sure again that we got them, got them lined up right. That's, that looks good to me. Okay, so you'll notice over here that if we hit the, there it is, the play button, boom. All uh, right, so <laughs> mission accomplished. And as if uh, Jim is still in the live chat, as if, as if uh, he knew at what point I was at in this video, he said, and, a, and on a side note, can you showcase how to export a PNG sequence? Yes, I can do that. All right, so go over here to, uh, I was just there. Uh, go over here to export uh, render video, and that's in uh, kind of a, uh, not the best uh, Term, term for that uh, menu is because what we're doing here is we're rendering an image sequence. Uh, but uh, I suppose you could consider that video. Well, here's the main function of it, rendering out a video, right? But if you switch over here, Photoshop image sequence, there you go. You could call this whatever you want, Java. Uh, they do have some nice uh, frame options over here. So you can say starting at one and uh, the number of leading, leading zeros. I wish uh, Adobe Animate. Formerly Adobe Flash had that, uh, so you got uh, your you know your standard document size options stuff like that. Frame rate really doesn't matter because we're just rendering out the uh, each one of these frames. But so the range is all frames, and then another option over here is you, you definitely want your uh, alpha channel on if this is going to be some game art. Uh, you want that uh, transparency showing. So go to straight unmatted. Oh, that's an interesting one. Anyway, so uh, we'll uh, we'll render this. This is going to a special place on my desktop called More Garbage. <laughs> and uh, yes, you can see that I already did uh, do that just a moment ago. And let's take a look at the magic that has happened. So we've got our little Java guy. Da -da 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 -da, looking pretty good. And then uh, the other thing that you could consider doing too, though, because you do have this as a Animation is export, or no, I'm sorry, save as for web. Uh, there it is, a GIF. You could uh, make a GIF out of this. I did just try this a moment ago uh, and uh, loop it forever, right? We obviously want that. Just this guy bouncing up and down. Let's just call it uh, java.gif. Put it in the garbage folder. And uh, 
And uh, then let's uh, drag the, uh, oh, it's already showing over here. Look at that. So he's, uh, he's excited. He's going to find a new R2 unit or something like that. Can we open it? Oh, if I open it in preview, then it'll stop. Yeah, okay, all right. So that makes sense. I was just going to open it up in the browser. A lot of times that's how I'll test out the GIF. So can I make it so I can zoom in on it? There we go. All right, so he's bouncing along. Whoa, look at that stuff. All right, so uh, so that uh, that does it for this uh, user requested video. Thanks for bringing it up, Jim. I'm glad I uh, now know how to do that. That is pretty cool.